Hey everybody, it is Friday, finally Friday, finally Friday, thank the Lord, it's been a long week, it's getting hot again here in Mississippi already, and we got some good deals on some snap-on stuff, come on out here, let's see what we got on the truck. <laughs> This is a uh, Snap-on Classic Series 24-22. Uh, I got a three-pack of them coming in. Black, red trim. Super nice box. This is one of the, uh, uh, I ain't gonna say lower line, more economical, economy efficient type of boxes right here. Budget friendly. Budget friendly, yeah. We got uh, like a limited number of these in our area. I was lucky enough to get the phone call, asked if I wanted one. It was either a yes or no. Like, you want it? You gotta say yes or no right now. I was like, well, hell yes. And that's some gun to me, son. <laughs> Got three of them. This is the first one. We'll have another one next week, and I hope the last one's coming in after, the week after that. That's a good looking box, mm -hmm. though, with that red on there. We got a smoking deal on these, ready to go. Smoking deal. It'd be on the truck today after we uh, get done with our video, be ready to go next week. Somebody's gonna buy go. this thing. Somebody's gonna get it, huh? Somebody's gonna get it. I like the badge, too, because it's a... All black. That looks good. Even this one even got the uh, 100th anniversary keychain go with it. That's worth $100 right That's there. That's right there, 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Left went to lunch, I never locked it. I hope we still got stuff on here. <laughs> Man. Somebody got my epic box. It yeah. was right here. I'm missing the toe box. <laughs> Man, that's what you call trust right there. Yes. No, that's called a mistake. Go to lunch. That was an accident. Go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it open. Make sure we still... Yeah, we... we still <laughs> that won't be the first time that this happened, though. Whew. I hope Man. that it's the last, though. Man, you got the stuff in this week, didn't you? Yeah, I got the... Uh, how many boxes did I get yesterday? Six 50 pound boxes, then six or seven smaller ones too. I got a bunch more coming in today too. So, how many foot pounds is the 18 bolt supposed to do? Like 220. Really? Yep. It'll be a lot stronger than that. I would think, because the. Yeah. Uh, I know the 14 4 will do 180. Yeah. I know that well, for a fact. It's right. I, we haven't i haven't never tested it of course snap on just like with anything else they use with them or you know they always they do what's called true torque mm -hmm. like we guarantee it's on the ct 7c someone's gonna do 120 no matter anytime you put it on the boat whatever the batteries i just want to do 120. yeah and like i said i we tested oh, them so on here before it could be like on the orange then and it's, it'll still it's do gonna it. do 120. I learned something today yeah they do what's called true torque uh, a lot of a lot of them don't do that. Mm -hmm. I I don't think anybody else does that. Everybody wants to throw a big number out. As like this right some here. of them we have found in our torque test are lie. way Just flat out lie. Yeah, way overrated. Well, it's, it's like yeah, some people won't throw a big number out, and they will hit that number, like the Milwaukee half inch mm -hmm. rated. Well, on the box, it, it don't it say did it's fourteen hundred, and we made it do fourteen hundred. Yeah, now, but you it could, didn't like it, but it did it. But and I talked with the Milwaukee rep, and he was one told me this. He said, you could take 10 of them, and they're all 10, not going to do the same thing. He said, mm -hmm. they say up to 1,400, and that's for their legal department well, mine, had to put that in mine there. Mine did it till something broke in it. Exactly. Well, it didn't break on 1,400. I think it was like when we went up to 1,450. Yeah, just trying to see. When, when it actually but, broke. <laughs> yeah, that's what me and somebody else talking about uh, the other day. They was asking about these, and uh, some guy is a... Guy I met at the gas station who drives a school bus actually, and he's asking about the uh, snap on impacts. And he's like, Are they as strong as the Milwaukee ones? I was like, Well, we got two of them. One of them, yes, it is. One of them, no, it's not. And he's talking about how he likes that 1400 foot pound Milwaukee one. And he's that thing take off anything. I said, It's a bad gun. It really is. Yeah. You know, I got one in my race car trailer. I got all Milwaukee tools in my race car trailer because of the variety of stuff that you get to have in there. Uh, do I want somebody using a 1,400 foot-pound gun working on my car? No, <laughs> that's way too much power. 
time. But this one's rated at a thousand. Okay. This one do more than a thousand. Mm -hmm. So that one will do a thousand, even the batteries on the, the on one the one dot. Yep, it's gonna do a thousand foot pounds. Wow. I don't know what it do fully charged and all the way up. I don't know. I'm. I've we seen, can find out, buddy. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> videos of. of we'll of find out if you want to. Them. All you gotta do is leave that joker here for a little. While. Yep. <laughs> and uh, it may not look the same when you get it back, <laughs> but. And uh, then I got a I got one of these too in my toolbox. And I got a 8850. No, I got one of these in my construction trailer. And I got 8850 in my toolbox. And the reason why I got one of these in the construction trailer is like I beams and stuff like that, bolting them together. Yeah. If we're doing like opening the wall up, then. Big money. So you got you got your money all scattered around tools and investment properties, rental properties. Like Work it all the time. I'm too broke to work every day money bags get off work and go back eat a baloney sandwich if we got baloney oh my god then you uh, can't be lying to all these people like that go back to work is that the uh, one horsepower it is that's a hoss right there yeah boy. is that the one that's got the handle on the side no it, i didn't get the ones with the handle the one with the handle was pretty nice yeah, I remember Wally had it. Man, that thing would. Yeah, this is just holy the, uh, cat cut. Well, he had the, they had the cutoff wheel, the grinder one. I don't know. It had the handle on the side. Of I it. think that was the grinder. This is just a cutoff, but it is one horsepower. Feels good in your hand too. It does. Don't it? That rubber grips nice. The Isn't whole that? thing's rubberized. Mm -hmm. And they redone these saws right here. I was trying to see if I had a, I got an old one down here, a demo one, I think, yeah. This is the old version, PTS 1000. Yeah. Demo. Oh, they some bad saws. They changed them to this. I'm not sure what the difference is. I haven't researched it, so I ain't even gonna lie about it. I do, I did notice off the bat, this one is aluminum with mm -hmm. plastic shim all around it. A plastic guide, not a shim. And I'm not sure what this one is. I'm, I don't know if the whole thing's plastic or if it's poly or what it is. Hmm. But I was told that they was making this stronger, better. It is bigger though, it looks like, than what this one was. Cause these would wear out right. after so many uses. Well, that right there definitely feels good. Yep. The way it's uh, yeah, it good feels grip good in your hand and stuff. You need a DA sander, don't you? For what? Body work y'all do. I've had here. a bunch of DAs. Work I ain't never had none of them sanding. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing about? I work with DAs all the time. Yeah. I read a bunch of DA comments. <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> or get some DA text messages. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Is that the same one that Bobby bought? Uh, no, his is the old, uh, it may be the, the 4625. I know it's I a bad dude. I watched him polish a tank back there with it one day yeah. and able to get it, buddy. Yeah, this is a uh, the low vibration sander. I don't, I don't say in anything, so I don't know. I don't either. I've used one of them at the tool show like they had set up. Mm -hmm. What'd they have uh, y'all sand him? Just on the flat piece of metal, metal. that they had painted. And, uh, I mean, it felt smooth to me, but I haven't never used a DA, so I don't know what <laughs> if one's smooth or rough, you know. Most DAs yeah. are rough. Yeah, most of them are. That that <laughs> one felt smooth though. <laughs> That's a big old one right there now. Eight inch. Golly, that thing can cover some area, won't it? That looks so much like work though. Yeah. Mm. That's a big DA right there. <laughs> that sounds like what my wife calls me all the time. <laughs> you ain't right. Well, I like that toolbox in there though, ain't yeah, I'm not a black good. fan at all. I'm not, I just don't like a black toolbox, but that one, let's give it that red trim on it. Yeah, let me see what color the other one is coming in too. Give a little of a... So you're going to have a deal on that one, huh? Yeah. Somebody needs a black toolbox or red trim, it looks real good. Oh yeah, the next one's going to be, next one's going to be bright. 
bright high vis. No. It's gonna be green with black trim. Oh, yeah. Black badge and all that. Bill's box. Yeah, it built like that one. <laughs> Everyone wanna buy it and set it beside the other one they got. That's true. When you gonna give away the kegerator? When we pull the ticket on it, uh probably this weekend. Man, we need that in there. That'd be alright right there, won't it? Mm-hmm. Does it come with the first keg of beer too or I can help you get rid of the first keg after we get it. <laughs> <laughs> well you know if we get it we're gonna have to try it out every yeah. Friday. We got some snap on mugs we can use. Like could you imagine if we got you about half lit before we turn this camera on? They wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> we hear a bunch hear of all beeps. kind of stuff. Yeah, hear a bunch of beeps. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Uh-uh. What we do is get about half lit, then go to the gas station and start getting diesel fuel. Then you can hear me get mad because then everybody wants to come up to the truck and <laughs> it's, it's snap on. It's Tell them about the fella that come up to you today. Yeah, I was getting diesel fuel this morning, and I mean, it was an older guy, nice fella come up, and uh, one of snap on had any of them free pocket screwdrivers that they hand out all the time. I look, I'm still looking for them too. I ain't never got no free pocket screwdriver from snap on, you know? He looked at me like I was crazy. I thought everybody giving them free pocket screwdrivers. I said, no, they You're don't. You said, no, I got a quarter bubble gum machine <laughs> <Yeah>. in there. <laughs> I said, no, they don't. And he said, okay, then. He said, I'm sorry about it. I said, I ain't no problem, you know. I guess people and, uh, think that Snap-on owns the truck. A, a lot of people. I, I still got customers that ask me about that all the time. Like, like, how do we go about getting paid and stuff? I guess we'll get paid by how much we sell. I said, yeah, pretty much, you know. And I said, I mean, since I own it, I guess it's... We get paid by how much I sell, you know. But, Snap on was uh, the one coming out like a, a bandit on this, you know. Yeah. Because you have to pay that franchise fee. And then you pay a, a franchise monthly fee. Yeah, the monthly fee, then you got to buy, buy the franchise, which you pay on for a long time. And then time. they send you stuff that you don't even ask for sometimes. All the time. <laughs> All the time. They're just keeping but, you on your toes. That's you it. Know, keeping you salesmanship sharp. That, well, it's like this right here. Like, I mean, I, if they just sent you CT761s, yeah, you're going to sell them. That's not a challenge. <laughs> like, let's send him something that, you know, a little off the wall, something a little like, challenging. Well, big oil filters. I yeah. keep this right here, the big blue point, half inch drive oil filter wrench. And I keep a bunch of the heavy duty ones back here, which I sell a lot of yeah, these. Them are the best sets, too, by yeah. the way, guys. I got two of them in, I put them back there. They're, that's the best ones to me. Let me get these out, because somebody. OFW3 HDKT, I can tell you. I've got this set, and these are worth their money, money, money. They got these little welded tits, as you can see right in here. I get my camera to focus. Yep, here's the older style, which we can get both still, but. Like this one don't have nothing on the side, just smooth. Yeah. And we can still get both, but you know, it's clay. If you see a set on here, it's gonna be these right here. I'm not, I don't order these no more. Yeah, I'll see, let me see if I can get my camera to do right. See that little weld, it looks like welding splatter in there. Woo, buddy, oil filters will work their self off once you wiggle that bad boy up there on there. I wonder Good how much things. that engineer was paid to come up it was probably an accident, you know. Had some weld splatter on there, and somebody's like, I'll send it. You know, it's Friday. We got to go home. Hey, that right but, there works, man. Them right there, I'm going to say that's probably the best investment, you know, that I've purchased off of a tool truck right yeah. there. Like, when you can't, when I've had mine probably three years and you still can't say nothing bad about them, it's, yep. it's good. Yeah, like I said, it's them, and you get the four pack for the automobiles. That's mm -hmm. OFW4 KT. And I got it too. And awesome. them are all, I got yeah, the same ones. I got a set of them in my shop. I ain't never even used because I don't change oil on this for my big truck. Clay does it, both of them for me. Or my yeah. Dodge, I mean, not my big truck. This is a very popular one. A91F. Three eighths on one side, half on the other. Right. This is something that they sent me. I ain't never ordered one of these. I don't know who in the right mind wants to be changing sizes to go bigger little oil filters. I don't know. Unless, you know, most of the time guys will have the one size that they use most of the time. 
Where but, I thought like this might would be handy at is on a service truck. Yeah. Because you do cover a bunch of different sizes. And if anybody did want to know the part number, you got to find it right here in the glare. YA342C. So, yeah, I'd rather have the strap style like those over there. Yep. I ain't got time to be changing those sizes. No, but I'm lazy though. A somebody lot of guys will, will do that, but I'm Somebody will buy that. I'm lazy. Then, um, Oh, as far as, uh, I like, I got this set right here, too. I was looking for, like, the Toyotas and... Yeah, they got all the cups. Mm -hmm. This is a handy set. A lot of my I've ATV tried guys... To, I've tried to buy them before because I thought, man, that'll be perfect, you know? Like, <clears throat> but my problem is they always would slip on the filter. I've, I have not because I a bought couple of cheap, out. like... You know, O'Reilly's brand or, or whatever, but I've warranted one or two out before, but they also said too that they was on like oil filters that was extremely way too tight. Yeah. But a lot of A T V guys or I got a shop that works on nothing but jet skis mm -hmm. and now their oil filters are straight up and down. I'm I don't know who the engineer was that designed that, but they need kicked in the balls with the need. Also like the Cummins putting it in there sideways, that way yeah. you spill it all over everything. But I know I seen y'all did one on my dad's truck, and I think you had to pull like a head and manifold and everything else off just to get to that sucker where where they put them at down there. <laughs> yeah, As a, that's a pretty nice kit though. But yeah, the ones I bought were like I say I think they was actually plastic though. The ones I bought they wouldn't metal like these, and uh, they would slip on the filter. But I actually like that design. You know. Yeah, they uh, you use them as a three eighths, or you can get the little adapter comes in the set too. Mm -hmm. If you want to put, a, if you had to put a half inch on there, right? Blue point adapter. This is a nice set, and we sell a bunch of these. I bought the Lyle. I think it was Joe that had this one. Like this is made by Lyle, I think. But I seen that they got one that's spring loaded now. Have you seen I that? I seen them. That is it. Lyle. He makes spring loaded one. I don't know. Mine's like that. It's not spring loaded. I haven't ever used one of these. Cause they're pretty good. Are they? Mm -hmm. I, I always thought that they probably wouldn't be as much, but yeah. I've sold quite a few of them. I usually, I the used to keep The problem is you have to have two hands. Like you have to hold, hold it, it up there and then turn it to get it to, you That's know, right, spring loaded first in good effect. You just set it up there and That's why I it. think the spring loaded would be the superior of the two. Yeah. But like a 3.5, it's kind of hard to get up in there to get the oil filter on a 3.5, and that's why I bought that one. To, was for EcoBoost, and then yeah. uh, of course, not, a month after I bought it, I seen a spring loaded one, and I was like, Phew. Of course, but I screwed it now. But that's sort of like snap on, y'all come out with the best light, and then everybody buys that light. Then a month later, they come out with a light that's a little bit better. <laughs> like, well, this one's better than the one you bought last time because this one's twice as bright and got seven times the run power. That's why I, I took. <laughs> I tell everybody all the time, it's, a, a, it's funny, but snap on got to have the best lights. So it'll come out with a brand new one every yeah. month, you know? They do have good lights. Yeah. My favorite out of all the snap on lights that I have, um, of course, the wireless charging pad ones, I really oh, like yeah, those. Oh, yeah, they nice. I wish they sold them in a two pack where you could get, instead of the little flashlight version, you, you get could get two, two of, the, of flat the, ones. the flat ones. Yeah. I can probably, Those are really I'm, good. I'm sure you can order the flat light by itself, but then you still got the flashlight one just sitting there, though. Mm -hmm. I wish yeah. they sold one like this that was wireless charging, because these are really nice. The wireless charging is pretty nice, because like the spell, set it on there and go. <laughs> yeah, I love and, it. Uh, I thought I had the other light in here. Like I like um, it because I like you know I had that one mounted on the side of my toolbox. Yep. I didn't have it mounted. It's it magnet. Stuck it is stuck there, and then you could just hang your when you didn't need your light. You could just sit back up there. It's, it's always charged. Like that was the yeah because they did good on that. I'm the world's worst. So I get done using my light. I don't check the battery on it. Nope. I, always, I turn it off. I turn it off and I stick. All, my flashlights are stuck to the side of my toolbox. I got three or four of them. Mm -hmm. The, the magnetic three magnetic ones. I just stick them to the side of the toolbox. And of course, when I need them again, they're they're good about ten no, minutes. And they that's go what things say. They won't go dead right away. Uh -uh. It'll be like when you're right trying when to I... get that bolt lined <laughs> up, and you got both hands tied up, and you're biting your tongue. Everything's in a cramp to hold it there. Yep. That's when it's going to leave you in the dark. Yeah. 
and then I, of course I got the uh, battery operated ones that go up to fourteen four, yeah. which I love them. I do too. But now I got the uh, with well, the battery magnets, which is great. Mm -hmm. Those battery magnets are worth their weight in gold. There was a guy who wanted me to find out. That's not a ratchet. I told him it was a ratchet right there. The it's breaker bar, the hard handle. It is a breaker bar. But he was wanting the part number on the pearl blue handle. I thought it was a ratchet. Sorry, it's a breaker bar. I guess you could get one of them. I, I think it's a S77A, the uh, big tall piece that ratchets. Yeah. If you want to, but it'd be cheaper buying the whole ratchet, though. Yep. I think that little piece, that adapter piece, is about as much as a ratchet is anyway. That ain't no good. But the big long ones like that, they're gonna be about 270, mm -hmm. 250, 270, somewhere in that range. That's true. You sell many of those? That big truck shot, big truck guys, I bought some of them, but now most of them has gone to, when I first started, I sold a bunch of them. Yeah. Because that's what everybody, well, all big truck guys, that's what they used. Now they use them mm -hmm. or they use, I sell a bunch of these. Yeah, the straps. And uh, not so much as many as. I know I've got, a, you know, done caterpillars before and I couldn't get them to break loose. And I, yeah. I bought one that's a chain, looks like a bicycle chain. Yep. One of two things is happening. It's coming loose or it's going to tear it. Yep. And, then, and I've seen them tear them like that. Then you might as well get out the air hammer and, and start. Make a big mess, but you'll get it off. Yeah. I finally took these off the box and set these big suckers up here. Them are some big ones, aren't they? Yeah. Man, I bet them jokers are high, too. I can't remember what they was. 40, 20, let's see. One fifteen. Pretty, pretty salty. Yeah, they big, you know, if they get a hold of it, though, <laughs> something's gonna happen. Yeah. It looks like as sharp as those teeth are in it, though. It would cut it. They're flat, though, too. Yeah. But yeah, they, uh, I still ain't sure what this part's for. Why would... I don't know. Take a cutoff wheel and fix that, though, if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Modify it a little Buy a $115 bit. $115 tool and then take it straight in there and... <laughs> Grind them. They're going to lock her in the vise and cut these off real quick. <laughs> Which I've seen crazier things done in the shop, though. Oh, yeah. You don't never know what you're going to see with the... Uh, well, it's seen Wally take a brand new ratchet and take the good. damn lock off the lock and flex head. Go figure, huh? That's Wally for you, though. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if y'all need a black toolbox with red trim, Hamilton's got one. So, there you go. Bring a pocket full of money. A hey, big pocket full. Them long wheelbase 10s. Yeah, you, I don't know what that is. Google that. That's yeah. Southern for a hundred dollar bill. He's lying to you. You ain't got to bring all them. You can bring twenties if you want to. <laughs> Quarters. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully, y'all have a great weekend. Maybe I got a little laugh out of us today. Check over here for some merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes, all that stuff. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button right there. Just press it, and boom, it's done. Have a great week. See ya.